often. Uh, I know statistically we don't have too much data just from the Pro League specifically with Optic Gaming. There's no point looking at stats two and from, one. from Vegas because of Dashy, but 2-1 right. in the Pro League. So, okay. Pretty decent. And then on the flip side? Genji is 2-0. and oh. oh! Which sounds great, but they're also 0 for 5 with Matt at once. once. Like their S so their hard point record is 5-5, five and five, which means they <laughs> literally always win map 4. They literally always lose map 1. And I don't know what happens if Genji wins map 1. It, I just don't know what to do. The world explodes. It's the only thing that could happen at this point. But we'll start things off on board with Optic Gaming Scump, who, of course, uh, you're so used to seeing him run the SMG, but he's adapted so well to the Maddox. Maybe a little too well. He looks very comfortable with it, that's for sure. Right. So far, first hill, back and forth. TJ with a double. Karma, who you highlighted, has had some tremendous performances so far. He really has stepped up in terms of slaying category. And it's kind of a reminder to everyone, if you're Karma, where it's like, hey, guys, don't forget, I can still do this if I need to. Oh, man. It, if you watch him when he's, like, streaming scrims, you would swear up and down that he's got to be, like, one of the most valuable players in the game. Like, I was convinced going into Vegas, I was like, Karma's going to be the standout player. And so I saw Dash's stats. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you the might be doing okay, but, like, there's nothing <laughs> you can say about that. But... I genuinely think, and I think Karma would probably say the exact same thing, is like he doesn't play for kills at all when Dash is on his team because that's what Dash's job is, to kill everything in sight. But now you need to pick up a couple more, so Karma's like, yeah, no problem. I can do that too. Oh, very good start for up to gaming. 37 to 0 off the first hill. Now the rotation's going to come through. TJ trades out Karma's life and now looking for more. Bear in mind, TJ, 205 away from Streak, so he's going to want to play this uh, a little more passively than he normally would play. 80 points away. This could be a big fight. Seems like a perfect time to send it to up to gaming. Astro listening. I'm on shot. I'm on shot. Pillar. He's pillar. Two, 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 two. Sushi, 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 sushi. Sushi and 18. 18. 18. Two screen cards. We're running the back. We're running the back. We're running the back. We're running the back. Front, sushi. I got a laning though. I got a laning. Mirror, mirror. I hit him. Pillar, pillar. One shot. One shot, guys. One shot. Pillar, pillar. And outer. And outer. Nice. 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 Good trade, y'all. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, go go I'm going rock first. I'm going rock first. Who's ever told you should push through Grandma? I will, I will. And right, I'm watching your right side. Here's nothing right. It could be a close corner. Check your corners. One's in the very back on me. Oh, they're grenade. I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak. I'm weak. Close, close, close. Hold on. I'm here. I got one close, 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 Weak him, weak get back door, get back door first. He's weak, back door, you can push close. One shot, two there, two there. But one stun, one stun close. Nice. nice. Close, All right, close. Naga, Naga, one shot. Two there. I got nice. another one. Nice. There's another one. Box dead. Dead. Go, dead. go, go, go. He'll push, one shot. Push, he's fine, fine, fine. Fine, Damon. He's one shot, Damon. One shot, Damon. One's outer, 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 Stay alive. He's pushing you close. He pushed in. All right, Havoc, Havoc, one shot. We're here, we're here, we're here. One shot on a hill, one shot on a hill. Outer showers, showers, one shot. All right, all right, yo, hold, 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 hold. One shot, yeah, Naga, one yeah, shot, Naga Tails, one shot, Naga Tails. We need help back, back here, we need help back here, I'm coming, Porter. Two, one shot on the out. Naga, one shot on me, dead. Nice, two, help Matching. with the back. Play my life, play my life. Oh, one more, one more. He's at the door, at the door, Damon. I gotta heal. He's stunned me, I'm stunned. I got you. Two push, two push. He caused it, he caused it, he caused it, he caused it. Another one, another one. One shot, another one, 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 another very, very marginal lead. Eight, only 18 points. Very back and forth. Optic Gaming struggling to break through on the previous hill, but this one they do get inside a little bit early. Of course, the post spawn's coming in from Gen G. They're trying to back that TJ inside the hill, is able to pick up three. Now Space has got to take the one on two, which again, TJ on a tear wins that one as well. On a five spree, 85 points off of streaks. And well, he's going to pull out Daddy War Machine to try to make it happen. Black is already put on, so doesn't connect with the kill and gets shot in the back. Gen G. So ahead of the game with putting on that flag jack. And that's twice TJ's been close to streaks and just not been able to get him. That time he tried to make the heads up place as well. Secure him with the war machine, but to your point, Genji already with flag on their classes, ready and waiting for TJ to do just that. As now over towards our second rotation of hills. First hill, comma, inside for Optic Gaming. And while Havoc trying to make plays, Grav Slam, that's a double. Scum for Karma, full Zoomer invests the Lightning Strike. He also managed to trade out Havoc as well, so Optic Gaming with control. Yeah, the Gravity Slam is always nice on the hill, but the Lightning Strike, much, much better. So Optic <laughs> Gaming able to just get right back inside. Karma smells the flank out, but basically wins the gunfight up close, and 
Well, now he's up top with the Sog, and at the very least, he's going to be helping his team get those spawns for next. But of course, you're trying to get on through. You got to go quickly. Mox up top eventually gets found out, but looks like he might have taken just enough pressure on for his teammates to start to contest. Finally, Major Maniac and Nagafen take the players down. Gen.G get control, and they're poised to get these final 12 seconds on the hill. And of course, again, because Spacely goes on the flank early, they do have those spawns. Well, now you see a War Machine invested by Spacely. And we see Flack on Optic Gaming classes. Well, fires it out, doesn't connect with anything just yet. Nothing close, no hit markers at all. Doesn't connect with anything with the War Machine. And Optic Gaming make Gen.G pay. Three go down. Zuma thinking about pushing through. Doesn't necessarily need to just yet. Gets the information from TJ where he's spawning. And bear in mind, he's spawning way out. So that gives them indication exactly where Mox is going to be. And because of that, number five on the minimap should be able to sniff him out. Up top, there it is. Good reads from up to gaming, but they need the kills as well. And not going to happen just yet. Unfortunately. For oh, no. Genji, oh, a team no. kills come in. But Mox is also getting kills on his own. Karma, the final player inside the hill right now for Optic Gaming, and there's three players coming to take him down. Nagafin, by the way, already has the lightning strike, 40 off the Hellstorm, and 20 seconds left on the hill. It's going to be good to at least get that next one, and of course, you got to imagine you're going in a tree. Yes, Optic is there early. You, you call in a Hellstorm, you drop a lightning, whatever it's going to be. They're going to have to slide into showers. They're going to have to push one way or another. You have the opportunity for the break. Yeah, worth mentioning that isn't a, a magical tree that can protect you from Hellstorms like we saw in <laughs> Black Ops 2 and Raid. This tree, uh, yeah. Hellstorms will go straight through it, but Optic, their first to rotate. Again, back and forth match. 132 to 132. Optic take the lead once again. But will we see their streaks invested? That's the big question. One more push comes through, but like lambs to the slaughter. Genji try and slide through Optic Gaming, ready to take those fights. And finally, the streak comes through, but it's a bad one. Team kill comes through. Spacely drops and. Up to gaming, look at maybe a full 60 here as the grab slam invested and Karma actually finds two there. Up to, it's a perfect hold. And, and that's about as big as it gets as well because you can see Genji, despite the fact that it's 25 seconds, space is like, I gotta go. We gotta rotate, not the gaming. They got three members at the next hill before Genji can even begin to get there, which means you got Crimsick sitting inside the old hill just racking up all the time. Nagafin though, another team kill coming in from Genji. And there's still one player for Optic inside to potentially cause problems. They find him, they sniff him out. Zoom is taken care of. But even still, all that fighting, Optic, they're still going to have the good spawns for this hill as well as that 30 point lead. Uh, and this rotation was looking like maybe it was going to be negatively affected by the fact that Kama rotates mid map, doesn't spot Spacely. Spacely gets good timing, and Kama did end up spawning out. But Optic still, they just push straight through. They retake control. Of course, there is still one streak of play here for Gen.G, but you're not really going to see it invested on this hill. Has to be damage limitation from Genji. At least split the time, if nothing else. A quick glance over towards the specialist. You, you have a Tempest available for Gen G. Uh, what else? I, I think that's about it, right? Major Maniac, I think he's close. He may actually have just earned the Annihilator. On the flip side for up to gaming, TJ with a War Machine. I, I mean, for Genji here, if you can split this time, you use your streak on the new and you control the spawns, that's how you win this game. A lot of potential here, and even on old Nagafen cleaning up the final kills. Looks like Zuma might be thinking about going for one more challenge. He is nearby. Oh, you got to be careful. You don't want to feed him too many points, but I guess if you have guns go like that, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they take him down. Nice little kill to get, but that lead, of course, is dissipated, and you got to expect that Hellstorm. Well, maybe doesn't even need to be called in for the moment. Optic is going for the pinch, but Naga doesn't need the Hellstorm when he's getting kills like that. He finds two. Now all the pressure is going to be coming to the front, and well, you do have a Tempest if you want to use it, but honestly, the Maddox has been pretty good for you as well. Eventually, he gets dropped. Oppy game can test, and this is where you want to call that Hellstorm. Hellstorm is going to drop. What will it find? Well, a couple of up to gaming players are there, and then the hover for the final, and Karma will drop for dead. 30 seconds. You'd love to see Naga try and play down street, play for those spawns, and that's going to be the game plan. Major Maniac, he's popped his Annihilator as they push straight through bottom middle. Needs to connect with a kill, does barely. 20 seconds left. Gen G will develop. A rather sizable lead, but nothing too crazy. It's these big fights on transition towards the new hill, which is going to be absolutely everything as Major Maniac still with a couple of shots, one shot to be precise, left of the Annihilator whiffs it. Up to gaming, ready and waiting on rotation. And it would be well worth the investment, really, for both teams to try to make sure to lock down this hill. You got Scump that's got the TAC-5 there. That comes in. You got the War Machine if you want it. And Zoom at some point will earn the Tempest, if not on this hill, on the next one. So it is important for Genji to break through because there's a ton of time that can be locked up right now. Trim saves with the ICR, and you see the Tempest actually comes out and is looking for more kills. The front side is taken care of. How do you get past the ICR? You got to go through mid. 
It looks like Nagafen is just praying that he can get a chain off. Important to note, Optic cannot win on this hill. They can put it pretty far out of reach as trades come through. Grab slam from Havoc. Now Gen G with control of the hill. Optic still though, not giving it up. 212, 210 in favor of Optic. Hard point contested once again. Havoc ring around the rosy. Two plays from Optic. There's one. There's two. A nice break from Gen G. But now the focus on the other side of the map. It's Crim6, who's first to the party in showers. Major Maniac will drop an Optic. If you think about the, the first rotation of hills over towards Tree, the way that they locked it down, it looked almost simple for them. And now you got a Tempest in case you need that as well. But you got the Concussion. You got a Sog, which is good enough to take down one. Havoc, though, able to pick up two. And of course, you do have a Split Spawn essentially coming in from Gen G. So the pinch will be there, but you got to win the gunfights on the front side when the flank is coming in. And Zuma, well, he's got a Tempest to make it happen. They clear out the front side, and now they know the pressure's coming in the back. And you got to get past the Tempest with Zuma. He's able to find one. He's going to be looking for more. He connects with the second. He oh. whiffs on the third. But so much time going the way of Optic. They can win it here. Finally, he falls. 232, 220. Havoc, he earned himself a Lightning Strike. In natural fact, he has all of his streaks. He's going to pop the Drone Squad as well. Gen G trying to fly through the front. Zuma will fall. Mox was there to support. Now it's Gen G's turn. They can't win here. So keep your eye on number five. It's TJ. He was first off spawn. The big fight on the other side of the map. This could well decide the game right here. Major Maniac inside the new hill. TJ, so smart, so sneaky. Can he control the spawns for Optic Gaming? The hill about to pop in three seconds. Zuma's going to go through the front. He will fall. TJ is still alive. Bear that in mind. Try to buy time. Now his teammates spawning close to him. It's his time to shine. TJ tries to fly through the hill. Not able to do it. And Gen G will take map number one. Chance, I don't know what the procedure is here because this hasn't happened so far in the division. I, I'm agreeing. I have no idea what to do what with do this we situation. Do? This is the fight for the top of the division. Gen G has been perfect so far in the Pro League. But of every single series, it goes the exact same way. And this is like, you have the advantage because you win the first map. But it's just, it, that, that's not been their strength.